This is a short video to help you get to know your ruler. Have a look inside your pencil case to see whether you've got one that looks a bit like any of these. Here I've got two 30 centimeter rulers and one 15 centimeter ruler. And you can see from the piece of A4 paper that they're sitting on that a 30 centimeter ruler is about the length of the paper and therefore the 15 centimeter ruler is about half the length of the paper. Okay, let's zoom in and have a closer look at the units on these rulers, starting with the top one. The funny thing about rulers is that they usually have two scales, one at the top and one at the bottom, and this one is no exception. So what's happening on the top? Well, it starts at zero, top left, and then goes up in ones and it's counting up in centimeters right there so that would be one centimeter two centimeters three centimeters four centimeters and so on and each of the smaller gaps those are millimeters and it takes ten millimeters to make a centimeter so there's ten millimeters ten little gaps that will make up one centimeter sometimes it's useful to be able to measure in millimeters so the people who designed this ruler have given you a scale in millimeters on the other side. All I did there was just turn the ruler around like this. So we've got millimeters on the other side. And there you can see now we're counting up in tens. 10 millimeters, 20 millimeters, 30, 40, 50, 60. Very good. What about this ruler? Okay, well again, the top is counting in centimeters and it says there CM for centimeters and that would be one centimeter, two, three, four, five, six centimeters, and so on. And the little gaps, they are all millimeters. If I turn the ruler around, and start at this end, again, the left, at zero, this is now counting in inches. And that refers to one inch, two inches, three inches, four inches, and so on. These little gaps, the smaller gaps, are no longer millimeters. We don't use millimeters to make up whole inches. I mean, you can, you have to convert them, but the divisions on these rulers in the inches section, these are not millimeters. Those are twelfths of an inch. Very confusing. Okay, and it takes 12 inches to be about the same as a 30 centimeter ruler. It's not quite the same as you can see. The 12 line stops there, really close to the edge of the ruler, whereas the zero doesn't start quite in the same place. So 30 centimeters is actually just a little bit shorter than 12 inches. And then we've got the 15 centimeter ruler, which you can probably appreciate if it's half of 30 centimeters, then it's going to only be a 6 inch ruler, it's going to be half of 12 inches. Okay, so that's a quick introduction to three rulers. Have a look inside your pencil case to see which kind you've got. Do you have a 30 centimeter ruler or a 15 centimeter ruler? Do you have one that has millimeters and centimeters or inches and centimeters? Because you need to know the difference between all three units of measurement so that you can use your ruler correctly. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye.